Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Divinity. Let's go over here first, because I think this is a dead end. We're going to have Fane go by himself. Because of, well, because of this poison. Let's ring a rusted bell. No sooner have you rung the ornate bell than the face of a lizard woman surfaces from behind a rock up on the ledge before you. Her stare is as sharp as the bolt eyeing you from atop her crossbow. Hi. Stand back and keep your hands off your weapons. Convince me you're no magister or draw one last deep breath. Laugh and tug at our collar. She notices your collar, and you can see the tension ease out of her martial pose. No, no, I suppose you don't look like a magister. Those dogs don't niche their own, except for Alexander himself, as it happens. I apologize for the steel tipped welcome, but lives are at stake. Hold on, I'll let you up. With one graceful motion, the lizard throws down a tangled mess of vines for you to climb. Come, ascend to the Sanctuary of Amadia. You'll find you're not the only guest here, but the Great Mother provides for all. Okay. Well, um... Let me clear this poison, then. That should fade in time. Wait. We did no damage to them. What the hell? Get over there. Oh, that's just a pumpkin. Let me just take that. Alright, let's try that one more time. There we go. And then it will clear up in time. Although I guess, really, we can probably just all run through this at this point. There we go. Hello, Bahara. Be welcome to this sanctuary. Amadia's eye in the storm. Sure. Lord, we aren't really safe here, are we? Hello, stranger. Hello. The disheveled pair eye you with hope, though their hope is tinged with mistrust. The lizard gasps as she notices the marks left on your neck by the source collar. She steps towards you. You've come from Fort Joy? Can I ask if... Did you happen to meet a man named Gareth on your way here through the swamp? I did not. He... He'll be back, Sam Adele. I know he will. He has to. He has to, indeed. We need our leader. And if he doesn't return with help soon, we haven't a hope. Hmm, wonder what help Gareth could bring them have here. You, have you heard of Shriekers? No. Han looks down with a flinch. Samadel reaches out, grasping his hand. Her jaw tightens. They're weapons that can, can kill with a screech. Okay. The Magisters patchwork them from living sorcerers. Don't misunderstand me. We are not afraid to fight, but we are powerless against Shriekers. The priestess at the shrine told Gareth some ancient secrets, some defenses that could be found in Bracus's armory. And he went there, in the hopes of finding it, whatever it is. Hmm. We help them, they help us? You're kind to offer, but you'd best talk to Gareth's squire, Exeter. He'll know where your talents can be most used. Now, Han, let's take a look at your nasty leg injury. Catch you later, stranger. It 
It's good you're here. Mm hmm. I know it is good that I'm here. You are all very lucky. Gareth, okay. We learned the leader of the Seeker Expedition. Gareth is missing. We ought to try and find him. We learned that Gareth has left to find powerful weapons to seek the uh, to aid the Seeker's escape. He has not returned. My Lucian's locks. Stop fidgeting, lad. Claude, turn your head if you can hear me. Yeah, right. The burning pigs. All right. Samadel's focus and attention is wholeheartedly what do you have to trade? to tending Ooh, hand slay. Pyrotechnics, eh? Focus on your breathing, Jules. Slow and deep. Hmm. I don't really want to give this away. Oh. Yet. Don't want to sell those. Uh, do you want a severed head that I did not really mean to pick up? Okay, so we can do that. Igni oh, we already have ignition. Spontaneous combustion. Deal 8 to 9 fire damage to target character. If the character is affected Focus by burning or necrofire, jumps. remove these statuses and deal additional damage for each turn of duration remaining. Oh, so we hit everybody with, like, ignition, then we hit them with spontaneous combustion. Supernova. Explode, creating fire surfaces and dealing that much damage in a large area around you, except areas blocked by obstacles. Peace of mind. Uh, let's see. Target gains clear-minded, which increases strength, finesse, and intelligence by two, and wits by four. Removes blinded, terrified, charmed, taunted, sleeping, and raging mad. Fireball. Focus on your breathing, Jules. <gasps> and haste. Slow and deep. Haste increases movements by two meters per AP and gives an additional one AP per turn. Clear slows and crippled. Cheese. I kind of want all of these. Spontaneous combustion, supernova, haste, fear ball. But that would be most of our gold. And this is just the very first vendor. Alright, let's take off fireball. I do like spontaneous combustion. Take off haste. Well, Rest I really like haste. Maybe we take off supernova. Though judging by the damage, that's kind of a lot. Claude. Hmm. Claude. Can you hear me? Okay. Two slots left, but we can unlearn that. And that if you want to. Don't move, Jules. Save your strength. Claude? Okay. Are you still with us? Please. Cool. Now we got them all. Take the pain away. We still need some sort of healer. Matis, the wound is festering. It needs to be changed. By Lucian's loss. How did you cut up your legs so badly? Let's see. Don't Let's get all of our fire spells right there. Potion of oh. fidgeting lad. Potion over here. Can you hear me? 
Let's, we need to pull all of our money together here. Matis, let me change your dressing. I will not be a part of this. Leave me be. Okay. Let's go back to her. As soon as all our wounded are healed, we'll need to search for the defenses Gareth left to find. Don't move, Jules. Save your strength. Okay. But for now. The young woman chews her lower lip as she observes the injured before her. Shoot, I need to have these being sold with the fun. She bends to grab a rag while uh, blood smeared hands. It's easy one with the bartering skill. And sees you. If you're looking for healing, sorcerer, well, there's not much I can do. From you said that you do not want healing, you want to get out of here. We all want to escape. But the Magisters, they have these shrieker things that kill anyone who tries to pass. We barely managed to flee from them the last time. They're these wretched beings mounted on crucifixes. They nearly wow. wiped us out with a single blow. We fled, those of us who still could. Uh, we'll just glance around. I've done all I can. Their wounds are too great. All I can offer them now is prayer and a cup of water. I do not know healing matches. Say that a well-placed kiss from a sharp blade will end their suffering in an instant. Hmm. That or this. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go with this one. The young woman flushes with anger. These are seekers, not farm animals. Leave us. Yeah, I thought she made not like that. The young woman chews. She bends. If you're looking for healing, sorcerer, well, there's not much. No, I just want to see what you have to sell. So you're the hydro. Uh. Hmm. I really do want healing. Ah. But we don't have anybody currently with healing, right? Besides just temporary because of you items. The other guy. What's left of him anyway? Yeah, yours is the helmet. Ah. Fine. I swear. See to the others. But it's better than nothing, right? How did you cut up your legs so we gotta keep our helpers alive. What is it? Can't you? Okay. Can you see, I've got enough on my hands as it is. Yeah, 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 I know. Ugh. We're just all for the money. Take a leave. Don't move, Jules. Save your strength. It's something. We can restore 35 vitality for two turns. Okay. Better than nothing. Claude, turn your head if you can hear me. The lizard holds a crimson-soaked rag against his side. He looks up as you approach, his expression oddly serene. What happened to you? <sighs> Magisters. They found our camp near the old harbor and unleashed hell upon us. I, I'm lucky in a way. I was wounded by an arrow. Hmm. Doesn't sound particularly lucky. Oh, trust me. It's very lucky. The Magisters have these other weapons. Living, tortured weapons. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have five arrows and a spear stuck in me than get hit by one of those things. The power that they unleashed. There was nothing we could do. Only run. Shriekers, they're called. I can still hear that sound they uttered. Makes my scales crawl. Sir Gareth is looking for a way to defeat them now. Let us hope he finds it. I hope they do. Hello? 
Are you the squire? In oversized armor, paces around a table covered with a spread of maps. His face a tight scowl of frustration. Every approach blocked. Oh, damn it. What good are battle tactics against those things anyway? He glances up. In quick succession, he becomes aware of both your presence and the fact that you're not a familiar face. Who the blazes are you? I'm the Red Prince, obviously. My word. I never met a royal before. On the run from Fort Joy, are you? A seeker can always recognize a sorcerer when they see one. Yeah, we'll go with this one. You met Verdus. Then he's as good as dead. We're the seekers he spoke of. We were supposed to free him. Instead, we failed him. You, a Godwoken? Surely not. And though if Verda said so... I mean, we do hear voices in our head. It could be important. But there's no way to be certain until we've left this blasted island behind us. The sooner we can leave this place, the better. The young man anxiously fidgets with his curved bow. You found a matter close to his heart, evidently. That's... that's easier said than done, I'm afraid. Much easier said. Yet the Magisters have us cornered. They have these weapons <laughs> I'm, yes. shakers. If we try to go against them unprepared, we're dead. We've lost many already. Must be a way to overcome them. Nothing's invincible after all. There's weapons. Ancient devices that can counter those things. Our leader, Sir Gareth, set out to find them so we could break the Magister blockade and escape this island. But he hasn't returned. If Sir Gareth doesn't come back with those weapons in tow, well, this island will be our grave. Well, I mean, if we need the weapons, then we need the weapons. We will look for Gareth. You'll, you'll help us. Yeah. His shoulders visibly relax. Helping you helps me. The weighty armor upon them settling with a clink. Thank you. Allies are in short supply in this place. If you help us, I promise we'll get you as far away from this place as possible. Please, ask. Whatever helps. Let's ask more about Gareth. Sir Gareth? He's oh, the sorry. finest seeker Jeez. I know. I'm honored to serve as his squire. He wouldn't let us down. Not unless something's gone horribly wrong. Hmm. Do you really have no idea where Gareth None. might be? He set out to find those source weapons, and that's the last we saw of him. How'd you learn about the weapons? The masked priestess, Gratiana, told Sir Gareth of them after she granted us shelter here. She was reluctant at first, but, well, Sir Gareth can be very insistent. Speak to her if you wish. She may know more. And what happens if we kill the Magisters? The Magister flagship, the Lady Vengeance, she's anchored at the old harbor. Once the way is clear, we're to take her and get the hell out of here. Okay. Easy enough. Hold up. I've got to take care of some business. Uh, oh, okay. Tell me, go ahead. How does life find you? Well, I'll be... If it ain't the beast of the sea. Stories of your beard alone fly across Rivelin like flocks of crows. Fair a bit more inland than you'd prefer, yeah? Not expecting this random conversation. Ain't I know it. Ain't I know it. Beast claps him on the back and chuckles heartily. If they hadn't met just a moment ago, you might think the dwarves lifelong friends. <laughs> I don't want to intrude, seeing as how you got your own trials and travails. But I don't suppose you've been to Reaper's Coast of late. Maybe heard of a fella named, uh, oh, what was it? Lohar? Lohar? Yeah, I know of the guy, from back when I was looking for fishing work out in Driftwood. He's, how shall I say, an entrepreneur. Still out there, I bet. Had his stubby fingers and a lot of pies, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Sounds like a man I'd buy two flagons of meat for. One for drinking and one for toasting. I, uh, got something for him. I'll tell him you sent your regards, Mr... Uh... It's Duggan it is. Oh, and this year's Leia. 
You gotta be sick of that collar. Leah, you can get it fixed up, yeah? Sure thing. Oh, okay. Bet you're glad to be rid of it. Awesome. Amazing to meet the beast in flesh. Let's see if we can get you back to sea. Fighting the good fight, yeah? Your lungs have got to be starved for the salt air. Beast chortles and nods, then passes you a sly wink. Such a charm bucket. Well, <laughs> good thing we talked to them. Um, okay, so now we have this amulet. Finesse and Arrow Thurge. Hmm. The seven watch orders. You're safe in bed. I feel like there was some other kind of finesse thing that I was going to use for Beast, but maybe I sold it now. Oh, well. Duggan stands over Leia, singing softly as she mutters about Gareth. There, there, lass. Don't you worry. No, 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 I want to talk to... Let me see what you have to say. stands over Leia. Okay, I guess it's just Leia. There, there, lass. Ah, you're the masked priestess. Before you stands a figure, her body wreathed in cloth. All you can see of her eyes are two dark holes in an ornate mask. Armadia's blessings, child. I have not seen this face in our sanctuary before. Pray, who are you? Huh. Frightful bother, indeed. My sympathies. Friend, the divine order strike prince and pauper alike. I cannot restore your realm, but you can always make a home here. I am Gratiana, priestess of Armadia. It is a privilege to welcome you to her sanctuary from Bracus's vile swamps. Yeah. It was not always thus. This swamp was once a rich, lush land before he came. Before Bracchus. Let's find out about Bracchus. He is no more. Thank the goddess. It has been many centuries since he walked Rivalon, although he still casts a shadow over this land. He ruled this realm as a tyrant and beast. He stole its source and left only death. On this island, he built and tested his weapons. Mm. These marshes were a playground for he and his necromancers. Many unfortunate souls were brought here. Blessed were those who died quickly, or died at all. Let us show our scholarly side. The tales do him no justice. Oops, sorry about that. He was cruel, greedy, awesome. and stripped this land of all life. He was truly a horror. Indeed, the Magisters have even taken Bracchus's worst tools. First, the purging ones, and now those shriekers. Without something more powerful than these sticks the Seekers are armed with, those crucified monstrosities will kill them to a man. The fool ran into the swamps. He pestered me for aid against the Shriekers. And when I finally told him of a cache of Bracchus's soul-forged weapons, he rushed away to find it. A bold move, but ill-advised. Unless he returns with weapons enough, I fear none of these Seekers will leave this island with air in their lungs. Could you uh, maybe tell us where that secret cache of weapons are? Gladly, but I fear you'll fare no better than the Seeker. Well. North of here, you'll find the ruins of Bracchus's source armory. Nothing in this land can counter the Shrieker's power like those weapons. Without them, the Seekers are truly hopeless. Thank you for the information. Walk ever in Armadia's grace. Uh huh. Whoever the heck that is. The birds are asleep. The moon's in the sky. Oh. The seven watch orders. You're safe in bed. 
You can do so teleportation. It's a really cool ahead. spell. And it doesn't, it's not based off your, off your uh, intelligence. Oh, no, it is. Never mind. Sorry. It does receive a bonus from intelligence. But it's still really Cause nice cause to have. Ooh. Oh, and that Grant's back. Restoration? Oh. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh, oh my god. Oh man, finally a poison spell. Oh, I want all of this stuff. Oh, oh, I did the birds it. are asleep. The moon's in the sky. Oh boy. This ring, granting restoration, constitution and HP, we can give that to Fane. So then we have two different types of heals going on. Oh my god. Oh, but, oh my goodness. I think that's the priority here. But, like, I, I want this. That seems really good. Getting a poison dart for Fane would be nice, because he can just poison dart himself? Or... Well, actually, I don't know about that. That's pretty good. Wished Bonnie Barn, now don't you cry. At least you have the bartering skills, so we can afford this. The in the sky. The seven watch showed us. You're safe in bed. Maybe by the time we come back from what our mission, we can afford a lot of this stuff. Because God, I really want it all. Found him. Ever stop. Thank you, my friend. You're my new best friend. If I can just get all this stuff for free, that would be great. That would be really cool. So plus one con and 27 hit points. So what are you sitting at now, buddy? You are sitting at... Hear my prayer. Where's your Protect these poor Oh, right down here. 209. You're more tankier than I pray that you ease their pain. Anyone. And see them safe in your grace. And that's good, because you get targeted a lot. Beautiful. We really need to get Push a lot of that stuff. Let's quick save it. With these two heals and the new spells we got, I wonder if we can take on that boss fight. Because we had no healing last time. Hmm. Oh, so she said that was north of us, right? Brockus's armory. Mysterious cave. And up here is where the that boss fight is. Oh boy. to get the high ground. Let's see how close you can get.
You can get pretty close. Oh, there's actually there was another one over there. That's fine. You're only pull oh, that's not fine actually. You're that's not fine at all. Hmm. Okie dokie. Move up. This. That would set that on fire. Sit. Oh, well, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I've been forgetting to examine these damn things. Holy shit, you're almost dead. I was gonna hope you'd be able to get an attack off before. Hmm. Water attacks, huh? Okay. Nothing we can hit with that. We need to make use of your high ground here. Though it sucks you are going to get hit by this guy. Sniper. Oh. Hmm. You're already regenerating. No one else really needs it right now. Hiya. Then we need to get up here to assist Ifan. That high ground damage is just so good. <laughs> I can love it. That haste. Look how far you can go. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm just kind of curious what this is like. Hey, 
Ooh, okay. Aw, you miss. What do you do? Vile Burst. Explodes, dealing 79 to 89 physical damage to all characters around it. Death resisting effects cannot protect Blood Corps from destruction by the skill. Holy shit. Oh, but you cannot move that far. Nope. <laughs> well, alright then. And. Hi, yeah. Probably should encourage myself first. Okay, we'll move up a little closer, I guess. here in human face. That's right, reflected. Piece of crap. I imagine that would be better on a thing that doesn't resist. Fire. Plus one finesse, fire resistance, and plus to range? And in this thing has a room slot? Wait, what? I guess the rune has to be in your... Oh, okay, so but it's only gonna be magical armor. Which I guess isn't bad. So now you have 48. Not bad. I like the finesse and ranged as well, though. That's a pretty good find for you. Make you even deadlier. Uh, okay. Now let's check out this mysterious cave. A little too... Ooh. Careful now. That's a trap. What's straight? Oh. 
Let's quick save. Oh, this is the vault of Brachus Rex. Oh, crap. Right, it was north of Gratiana Shrine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of forgot about this because that was hours ago at this point. Nice. We have found a dungeon, my friends. With the promises of riches. And of mushrooms that we can turn into potions. I guess I could just do that. That looks interesting. How'd you get that red skin, lobster? Sit too long in the sun? Or do you paint yourself whole red every day because you think it makes Turn away from this pig before you can finish the sentence. <laughs> what really happened there is this guy starts talking shit and I think the prince just kind of looks back at Fane like, can you talk to this dude? Hey, hey you. Let me see what you've got under there. Go on, go on. Show me your pecker. Wait, do you even have a pecker? Hmm. Demandy tell you where it is. If you want treasure, go find a mirror. Aw, because you should treasure yourself. Aw. This cherishing moment brought to you by Divinity 2. Now get your glittering bones away from me. Go clack and chatter at someone else. Oh, please. As if your lonely old bones could do anything to hurt me. Now get your glittering bones away from me. Go clack and chatter at someone else. Until next time. I mean, do we need to kill him? Here today, gone tomorrow. An illusion. A dream. This fellow must be quite proud of himself. Ha! Ah, clever. Interesting. Just because he's being a jerk, I don't think that necessarily means we need to kill him. Now, if we don't find the secret to this tomb, then maybe we will. Because maybe he's hiding a key on him or something. Hello. Didn't I tell you to leave? Wasn't I clear that you're not welcome here? Oh, you can't teach a fool anything. Wait, you look different. I see. You're just an illusion. Huh.
I want you both together. Oh, God, I didn't see you. Hmm. Well. You know we need to cast heal? Oh, actually, these are undead, right? Engage you, buddy. And talk. That is fine with me. So close. Oh, I probably should have done that first. Crap. Well, I've been doing that, I guess. Uh oh. What are you planning? I guess he, oh, but he has a spell shield though. Crap. The only physical damage we have is hitting him in the fi Oh no, that wouldn't even be physical, that would still be water. Ah, shoot. At that point, it's kind of useless to do that. Um, let's go and just get prepared for a fight against the other two. Bone pile, we can't use that one. Um, that would just be magical damage. Can we hit, need to hit him with a physical? Oh, that would be magical as well. Interesting. Very interesting.
little bit of that fire going. Or not. You're right, buddy. Hell yeah. That's good. As for you... Now nah, we'll just run up there. You can take a little burning dip. <laughs> Did you just trip and fall? Oh, gosh, sorry. Um... I thought maybe he would attack Yifan. What up? There we go. Oh, there are no corpses. I guess that makes sense because they are illusions. Hmm. <laughs> Poor idiot. <laughs> Let's go through here. Actually, first let's rest. Come on, friends. Quick save. I'm assuming that thing is an illusion too, so I'm not even gonna bother attacking it. Careful now. That's a trap. Ah. <laughs> uh, we're fine. Rest. Hello. Huh, do we want these gloves? It's just a reverse of what we have over there. Hmm. Nah. I don't know if we need them. How are you looking? Okay. Think of those to you, how about that? And now you have Thievery 2. So you can pick locks. I mean, you could pick lock at, at Thievery 1, but. Careful, I've spotted a trap. You did. Way to go and spot that trap, buddy. The traps out here seem kind of pointless considering you can just rest and basically ignore them. What up, rat? Do you know anything useful about this place? It's a riddle, isn't it? Um, a conundrum. Uh, what's it? You'll have to solve. 
you perhaps give us a clue? I thought you looked clueless, alright? Thing is, it's about the letters, isn't it? One for each thing. Easy. We will thank the rat. It's about the letters, one for each thing. Yeah, sure. Hope you don't die. Well, nice to meet you too. Rude. Thing. Hmm. Not the letters. Okay. You come to find. You come to search. But you won't find the way. A pity. What if you were to help me? I cannot help you. I only give the questions. I do not answer them. Brachus has willed it. Trompdoy must abide. You have met the unfortunate guardian of this vault. Yes. Judge him with a forgiving heart. Fate has been unkind to him. Do you wish to move forward? Yeah? Listen closely and make your attempt. Brachus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. A cur is... Uh, a, a cur... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, okay, okay. So a cur would be a very awful, uh, rotten. Either you're very good at guessing or the slightest bit clever. Let's find out for certain. Listen closely and make your attempt. Source is a scourge, a devil, a misery, a blight, a hex, a curse. And yet, the cure is... The cure would be a hex... Uh, misery. So it must be this one. Perhaps you're not totally incapable after all. Or maybe Trompdoy told you the answers. Is that it? Is he hoping you'll... It doesn't matter in any case. The path is open. Go freely. Okay. I know little. But you have proven yourself a knowing traveller. I will answer what I can. Yeah, so what is Trump Toy's story? Brachus Rex has charged him, tried him, convicted and punished him. I know not the crime, but he has been sentenced to remain in this vault for all time and to prevent others from entering. Trump Doy was and is a creative man. He knew petty magic in his day. But this he has used to carve this place out from a simple vault, myself included. Brachus Rex discovered the way. This he researched here, upon this isle. He could remove the source from any creature or individual. I saw the stars he used myself. They were most impressive. So that's the way forward, obviously. This damn Trump toy and his spells. But if that's the way forward, then what's back here? Because there's something down here. Is this just another trap? Lucky Proct. I 
I guess we should take this. Boring. Dude, we can sell this. What are you talking about? Junk. We need all the money we can get. Beautiful, more scrolls. Add to wares. And we may keep the scrolls. Alright, onward. Oh god. <sighs> okay, this again. Alright. Just out of my sight. Oh, I did not see it. Oh, God, that hurts. So you're now burning. I think you should be dead. Well, that definitely seals the deal. Restoration on Ifan. Glory is mine. Hmm. 
We need to stick with the uh, magical damage. Ah, no. Um. We actually did get targeted, so we could just do evade. You keep this guy busy. Really? Oh, well, nice crit. Very nice crit. Path is interrupted, eh? Well, what if I were to just go right up next to you? is already regenerating. You haven't taken any damage, neither have I. I kind of want to try the supernova, but it's probably going to hit my friends, too. Let's go with ignition. Oh, that's wrong one. You may take some damage after this turn. I'm just going to cast Regeneration on you right now. Although I also could have used it on... the enemy. So close to death. Can we bull rush through both of you? Yeah, we can. Very good. Hi -ya! Very well. Nice crit. You'll see what's real when it stabs you in the eye. Oh, jeez. Really? I just want to see it. Good God, they have one spawn right there. I didn't even notice. Oh boy. Ah, crap. That's good. You have some of your magic shield back, so go charge this other caster. And they're getting the high ground. Fain 
is kind of hurts. The problem is that the poison is probably just going to explode because there's fire right there. Probably. fire. Nice. Oh, that was all of them. Woo. Come on, everybody. What the hell is going on? So that was the final boss fight? We have killed Trump Toy. Okay. Ha! Unidentified shield, Trump Doy's hatchet. Alright. Band of Brachus. Intelligence, Constitution, set cursed. As you pick up the ring, you feel a cold, dark pain shoot up your arm. Your mind itches. You don't hear, but feel a whisper in your ear. It tells you to slip the ring onto your finger. Did I slip the ring on my finger? I don't think we should probably do that. Carapace. Plus one con, 10% fire resistance. Sure. That was pretty cool. And then... Plus one to wits. So that shot for one turn. Ooh, increase critical chance too. We'll do that. And you know, like I just I don't think I want to be cursed. I felt a jolt of energy when I picked up the Trompto's ring and wants me to put it on. I don't know. <laughs> That's plenty. The purging wand? We have found the soul jar of Graziana. We must be very careful as to what we do with the soul jar? Good find. What? what? 
Necromancer Tazim's soul jar. Containing the soul of Gratiana? Wait, we can use it? I kind of want to quick save it and use it. The soul jar stands on its plinth, glowing softly. From within, you can almost hear the whisper of a voice. Lay your hand on the surface of the you jar. You see, or rather, you feel a far-off land. Frozen breath hangs in the air. Pine needles brush your cheeks. And in your arms, you can feel a weight. A body, dead. But you have hope. Your vision swims. You're older, but perhaps not wiser. You march at the head of a shambling host, the enemies of Bracchus Rex melting before you. The scene twists again. Now Bracchus stands before you, a beautiful woman at his side. You lash out in treasonous rage, but cold arms bind you. You're sealed away in a tower. Your screams fill the darkness. You feel a jolt and open your eyes to see the soul jar before you, lying still in the vault. Your hand falls from the jar and grips the pillar as you try to calm your ragged breathing. Oh, yeah. We have to absorb the soul inside. Or did we talk to Gradiana first? Ah, uh, fuck it. Something inside you strains. You are replete. You cannot absorb more source. Oh. The necromancer's memories fade to black, but the feelings remain. Um, the memories of a necromancer. What could be more vile? Anyone who marches at the head of an undead host deserves whatever punishment they get. It takes bravery to try and strike down an evil king, perhaps especially one you once supported. So. The jar stands before you, cold. As you remove the lid, a fresh wind fills the room. For a moment, you think you smell pine, and then power rushes inside you. You can feel source coursing through your veins. For a moment, you're seeing through someone else's eyes. You behold a dungeon, a deck of cards in your hand, and a pair of skeletons before the vision passes. I see. And now it's just empty. But we have a source point. And now we can summon his soul wolf. Which means we have a better shot at killing that beast. Oh god, how many... The jar on the plinth before you seems ancient, but is in surprisingly good condition. It's covered in pictogram. All right, hold on. We, this episode's run too long. Let's just collect everything, and then we will... Oh, my God, the Super Nervous Kill book. Really? Look at that wand. It hums with inner source. Night is in fire damage. Grand skill purge. Hmm, okay. So this is one of the weapons that we need? Okay. What can, what's weird here is that Gratiana's... Soul is here. This jar glitters and glow. No, this that... jar glitters and glow. Can we pick it up? What? Did I just click on? Uh oh. This jar glitters and glows. From within, you think you can make. A All right. Well, we'll come back to that later.
Let's identify the shield. Or the, sorry, the boots. Resistance plus one to sneaking. Guess this is you, buddy. And I think we're gonna end this episode here. Oh my god, it's gone like an hour and 20 minutes. And then we'll touch all these other soul jars. Did I get everything else? Yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.